Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and today I'm very excited to bring you guys some secret stuff that has been found in the game files after this week's update. Thanks to the Reddit user Minecraft Rules with a bunch of numbers, he discovered some new Russia-related items in the icons folder in the Unturned directory. Now, some of you guys might not know this, but if you browse the local files of Unturned, navigate to the extras folder, there are some cool items in here that might be of use to communicate members. One place of interest is the icons folder which contains tons and tons of images of all the items in the game. Every single one of them. Now I'm sure many of you guys know that Nelson has been actively working on a large size Russia map as confirmed in his AMA and alongside it will come new items and weapons also as confirmed in Nelson's AMA. Now this map and these items have been worked on behind the scenes throughout these past few updates and such and Nelson has purposefully not included these new items in the updates so that they can be saved for when the Russia map actually gets released in like a month or two. Now today, when this week's update was released, Nelson seemingly forgot to remove the icons of these new items. So we can see the icons of some awesome new guns. Yes, that is right. Without further ado, let's dig right into these folders, retrieve the images, and show you guys some of the new and currently unobtainable items. Now let's start with the non-firearm items in the icons folder like the uh, Russia military gear and the ghillie suit. Now from what we can see from the screenshots that Nelson has shown of the Russia map so far on his Twitter, it's quite obvious that Russia is taking on a more serious color tone with less saturated colors. And one way of achieving this more serious tone is by darkening the grass to more of an olive color. I love it by the way. I, just look at this picture. Just look at it. It's so cool and the cattails as well. But anyway, alongside the change in the grass color on the Russia map. Alongside it, we will need new colored military gear to be able to actually blend into this new grass color. So in the icons folder, we can see these newly colored clothing items. On the screen right now, I've photoshopped the Russian top, bottom, vest, and helmet on an unturned character. Now there isn't much special about the new military gear except for that it has, of course, the olive color and an extra pocket on the shirt behind the vest. And oh, also it's not visible, but it will probably have a Russian flag on the shoulder. So anyway, that's the new Russian military gear. I think it's pretty cool, just something different. Now the ghillie suit falls under the same thing. You can check out the cool olive colored ghillie suit here. This is very cool as well. Now those are the two new military clothing items. Now let's move on to the exciting new weapons that we are going to see in the Russian map. Now to start, let's take a look at the new magazine-fed semi-automatic shotgun, the Vanya. This shotgun is based off the Russian Saiga 12 semi-automatic shotgun, uh, which is patterned after the Kalashnikov series of rifles. It fires 12 gauge rounds, so it will be using the same ammunition as the blunt force in Unturned, and it being semi-automatic will likely make it the best shotgun in the game thus far. Shotguns have always been a little overlooked and never used, but the new Vanya will be very useful in organized base raids and other close quarters situations, hopefully bringing shotguns back from the dead. Here is an image of the detachable iron sights as well, and here is the magazine. Next up, the Bulldog, a very cool name, I like it, just nice and simple. Unturned veterans may remember the Uzi with a Y from Unturned 2.0, the ultimate spray down machine, and here we can see its successor in Unturned 3.0. The Bulldog is clearly based off of a micro Uzi, which is an Israeli submachine gun that fires 9mm rounds at a rate of 600 rounds per minute, and in Unturned here are its detachable iron sights and its magazine as well. Now the Uzi and real life can come in 20, 25, 32, 40, and 50 9mm round magazines. So the amount of ammunition we can expect in this Bulldogs magazine is anyone's guess. Uh, but the Uzi is also quite small, so we can definitely expect this weapon to fit nicely in the secondary weapon slot. Very cool. Next up, we have the Augaver. Yes, I love the AUG in any sort of video game. I have no idea what it is about it. Maybe it's like the bullpup design, or maybe the look of it, or maybe it's just that in every game I've played that has an AUG, the AUG is just always a great weapon. But nonetheless, here it is in Unturned, and it's called the Augaver. Very cool. The AUG in real life is an Austrian bullpup assault rifle that fires 5.56 rounds, and AUG stands for Army Universal Gewehr. Now, Gewehr is German for rifle, 
And so this is the source of the Agaver name, a blend of the word Austrian, the rifle's place of origin, and Gewehr, the last word of the Ackerman. So Agaver, pretty cool. Now, despite the rifle not being Russian, the Agaver still takes Ranger magazines, probably just for balance. Besides, I mean, the military magazine fits into a Maple Strike, which is a Canadian rifle, and a Heartbreaker, which is a US and Belgian rifle. So perhaps this Aug is the first step into turning Ranger magazine weapons into a direct competitor of military magazine weapons. This also means that the Agaver will be able to equip the Ranger drum magazine too, so 75 rounds, that's pretty cool as well. The Agaver in Unturned also comes spawned with the Agaver scope on it as well, so we can expect the Agaver to be an overall more accurate, rarer, and better rifle than the Zupektikov, which also takes Ranger magazines, but has a pretty big issue with bullet spread. Also keep in mind that the Russia map will also have a bigger focus on Ranger weapons and ammunition overall, so we can expect to see a lot more Zupektikovs and Agavers on the back of players when it is released. This new rifle has to be my favorite, I'm pretty excited for it. Next up, the new pistol, the Teklovka. Oh, very cool. Based off the Swedish and American KG-99 or Tech 9 or AB-10 or whatever you want to call it, it's a cheaply made semi-automatic 9mm pistol that supports 10, 20, 32, 36, and 50 round magazines. In unturned, we can expect the Teklovka to have the highest magazine of all the pistols in the game, and if CSGO's Tech 9 has some influence on how the pistol in unturned works, we can expect it to have a considerably high fire rate as well. Now, as with most pistols in unturned, the iron sights aren't detachable, so we can't see what those are like, but here is the magazine. Pretty cool. I think this will be my pistol of choice. Well, maybe the Desert Falcon, I'm not sure, but I think this will be pretty cool. And lastly, the Motherload, the most unusual, most powerful, rarest, and highest tier weapon we have ever seen in Unturn, the Fury. Check this thing out, holy crap. It's a full-blown minigun, I'm not even joking. And we can't really see much of it from this like side angle image, but uh, here is the giant cylindrical magazine that it accepts, and uh, that's all we really know about it. And the minigun in real life is actually called an M134 minigun, and in real life it is a belt-fed 7.62mm weapon that fires at a configurable rate of fire between 2,000 and 6,000 rounds per per minute. 2,000 to 6,000. That is insane. Now, in Unturn, the presence of the magazine goes to show that it isn't really a belt-fed minigun, so perhaps it's something more like the uh, TF2 Heavy's um, minigun. It's called Sasha, I think. Um, Sasha, but it does appear to look more like the TF2 minigun as well, so in regards to magazine size or anything of that sort, we have absolutely no clue, but I would imagine that it would have upwards of 200 rounds available, since that is, I believe, the highest magazine capacity of an LMG we have in the game, so this being a minigun, it's gonna have more than that. Uh, we can also expect it to fire extremely fast and be extremely rare. Like, it's a minigun we're talking about here. This has got to be, like, the the god tier of weapons. Anyway, th this is the minigun. It's, it's freaking awesome, and these are all the weapons that uh, we have seen secretly in the icons folder so far. You guys should comment your thoughts, both on what you think the Fury minigun might have in the game, and also what your thoughts are on all the other guns we talked about in this video. I'm extremely excited about all these new guns, the Russia map, uh, lots and lots of stuff is being done behind the scenes. I think this has all sort of been known after that Reddit AMA. There's some serious stuff that's going on, but there's also a ton of work that needs to be done, so don't get a little too excited. I'm pretty sure we still have another month or two before any of this is actually going to be within our hands and we can actually shoot our tech Lovkas and Agavers, but that pretty much wraps up everything that was new and secret included in the icons folder. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out. <laughs>